Okay, this lighting is making me look really orange. I did get a spray tan. I might be orange. We're just gonna go with it. All right, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it, but there are like a million and a half helicopters outside my window right now, but they're really loud. So if you can hear them, I apologize. I also have a puppy right here. You can see his dog butt right there. That's my doggy. But hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am back with another favorites video. I do not usually do favorites videos this close together because I got kind of bored of them, but I've recently discovered quite a few new things that I really wanted to share with you guys, especially some fragrance free products, which is like my love of life is finding new fragrance free products that really work. And I am so flipping excited about one of them that I'm gonna die to just show you guys. But I've got a couple things to show you, fashion, beauty, a little bit of everything. I guess you could say. I have four beauty products to show you. And the first one is a sort of a base product, if you will. And it is the Murad Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15. I got this for Christmas and um, I asked for it for Christmas and then I used it a little bit and I broke out like crazy. And I thought at first that it was this, wasn't it? You guys know that story if you watched my last video, which is my skincare video. It was not this. And so I went back to using this kind of hesitantly and it has not broken me out at all. It is definitely not this that broke me out. Um, but this is an oil control, um, like, I guess it's technically, it says hydrate. I guess it's technically supposed to be a moisturizer. It's really not, but this really does help control shine like crazy. Like it will make my makeup last forever. I do still put a primer over it just because I prefer that. This is a little bit thick and kind of tacky. So if I put something over it, it just absorbs better. But I really like this. This really does help my makeup stay on really well. Um, it is a little bit expensive, um, but you do get a ton of product and you need very little of this. And so um, I definitely like this for days that I need my makeup to last longer. I don't always use it, but I do use it on days where I really want my makeup to stay on. So that's the first thing. The next beauty product are these um, eyeliners from NYX. Um, but these are waterproof retractable eyeliners. One is black and one is purple. You can't really tell in the sliding but one is black and one is like a deep purple. And I really like these. They really are super black. Um, they're not like a gel by any means um, in terms of like complete and total darkness and like blackness, but they are really easy to use. And I really liked this kind of purple one to make my eyes look really green. They've been really good and I really like them and they really don't smudge as much as my, um, what was it called? Maybelline Eye Studio Gel smudge like crazy in the corners of my eyes. These still do a little bit, but not nearly as bad. So I have been really liking those for my waterline. I don't use them to wing my liner because they're not sharp enough, but they are pretty good. And then the last bit of makeup that I have here, I don't think I talked about this in my last current favorites. I might have. Either way, I'm still loving it. Um, this is the Bare Minerals like liquid lipstick thing in XYZ, which is a matte liquid lipstick. I love this stuff. It's so comfortable. It feels so good on your lips and it just like is a really pretty color, kind of on my lips, but better color, but I really, really, really been liking this. And I just love the formula. Like I typically am not someone who really wears lip products ever, especially not on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is definitely something I can throw on day-to-day -day that doesn't bother me. And it's been really, really good. It's not what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a Tardis lip paint thingy majiggy um, that I got for my birthday gift from Sephora. Birthday suit, it's really rubbed off. It's probably not there at all, but this is really pretty, very comfortable, and I really, really like it. Okay, so let's move on to, I'm gonna call these skincare products. They're not all really skincare, but that's what I'm gonna call them because it's the closest thing I can think of. So the first one is a true skincare product, and this is the Dermatologica Ulti Ultra Calming Mist. If you watched my skincare video, you saw this. I really, really like this stuff. It is like a calming spray, a soothing, hydrating mist that quickly relieves sensitivity while helping to calm redness, stinging, and aggravated skin. I really like this, especially if, and I'm bad, and I'm sure you can probably tell looking at my skin, I'm kind of a picker. Like I really like to pick my skin. This is great for after you do that. It just really like gets in there and calms everything down and keeps it from getting super red and swollen and like irritated. And also if you just generally have really sensitive skin and some sort of product has aggravated you or you used an exfoliator that was too rough, Give this a try, just spray it on, and it really does help reduce that swelling and that redness that comes up with um, spots and stuff. It's good, and they make a mini bottle that's cheaper if you wanna just give it a try. The next skincare product 
is this one by ooh, Saint Tropez and it's getting all over me. This is Saint Tropez Instant Glow Body Lotion One Night Only. This is a tiny little bottle of it. You can tell it's like super dirty. It's literally all over me right now. This is not the fake tan I'm wearing right now. That would be a mystic tan that has gone really orange. But this is amazing if you just need like a night's worth of tan like or like a day's worth of tan and you don't want to do a full on tan. This is really great. This is a sample I've had for a long time. This I like if I wear like over the knee boots and shorts or a dress and I'm like, oh my God, my thighs are so pale. This fixes that and it doesn't get all over anything and it just washes off when you take a shower or whatever. So really, really love this. I wore this on a night out and it lasted through me sweating and everything. So I'm gonna say this is an A plus product and when it runs out, I will be buying the full size even though Saint Tropez is pretty expensive. This just like makes you feel super uber confident. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it but not really, it's not scented, it doesn't bother my skin and I have very sensitive skin. Actually, this does have perfume in it. Interesting, it did not make me break out, but it's actually the very bottom of the list of ingredients pretty much. So, I don't know, this is fine for me for a day. Maybe if I used it every day, it would irritate me, but. Getting into the fragrance-free products, I am so excited about one of these especially, but two of them are great too. This is the first one that I'm pretty excited about. It's not the one I'm ultimately excited about, but this is the Ban Deodorant in Unscented. It is a roll-on antiperspirant deodorant at the drugstore. You guys know, if you've been watching my channel, that I was using a hella expensive deodorant from Clinique. Um, and I was so annoyed because they started like not selling it a lot of places and I don't even know what's up with that. I went in search of a different deodorant and I found this guy, which I am so excited about. I think this is like seven or eight bucks versus the 14 that I was paying. So I am very, very excited about this. And so far, so good. It hasn't actually like broken me out. It hasn't um, like made me smelly or whatever because it is an antiperspirant, which I'm pumped about. I did go in search of the crystal one, which was recommended to me by a ton of you guys, which I really appreciate. This is a natural protection crystal body deodorant roll-on, hypoallergenic, fragrance and paraben free, all that stuff apparently has no aluminum in it. I haven't used this to be honest with you, but I bought both to see how I felt um, because I've heard from a couple of my friends that use natural deodorants that they really don't help that much and you have to reapply them a lot. This one, however, rock in my world. I'm so excited because it's so cheap and I'm so excited, but this is definitely my backup. And this is a recommendation from you guys that a lot of you guys love, so I'm sure it's great too. I just haven't gotten around to using it. Yay for things at the drugstore. Okay, fragrance free product number two. This is the free and clear firm hold styling and finishing hairspray. Yes, that's right, an unscented hairspray. Pumped about this. I haven't had one of these and I don't really use hairspray all that often. Um, and this is not an aerosol, which bothers me a little bit because I definitely prefer aerosol, but you get what you get, you know, when you got an allergy. Um, but this is great. I actually really spray it in my hands and then kind of use it to, um, to uh, scrunch my hair up. Um, I didn't use it today. I don't have any product in my hair today. But this stuff is great and I found it on Amazon and I'm pumped about it, very, very excited. Now here's a product that I've actually already almost used up and I really haven't had it that long. And this is the thing I am most excited about. I'm so excited I could die. That is unscented dry shampoo. I've been using scented dry shampoos anyway, but they make my head itch like crazy and sometimes they make my head bleed. Yes, you heard that correct. My hair, or my scalp, would bleed because of the um, uh, dry shampoo I was using. But girl, I am lazy. And sometimes I don't wanna wash my hair again because I have sensitive skin or because I'm lazy and it takes too long to blow dry my hair. Psst, original. Has an unscented dry shampoo now. That actually works and it's great. I've heard since I use this that a couple of people have told me that they actually make more of these in other brands that I didn't know that, but I'm so excited and it works and it doesn't irritate my skin at all. Guys, I'm so excited about this product. Go try it, it's amazing. I got mine at Ulta, not very expensive and it's unscented. It's great, I'm really excited. Moving into fashion favorites. The first fashion favorite I have is my new handbag and this is a handbag from Pop and Sookie. This is adorable. You guys might've seen a lot of these on Instagram with different influencers and stuff. They definitely gave out a ton of these to different influencers and I did not get mine given to me as an influencer, but they did invite me to their pop-up store and I got myself a bag and I'm so excited about it. So it is this, this is their camera bag. So it's pretty small. It's 
it's about the like exact size of my iPhone 6 Plus Plus um, with the case on and it's really cute it's got this tassel on it and the cool thing about these bags is that they are customizable so you can get things printed on them in whatever color you want so I got stories for stories in the dust and this like light pastel yellow and I love it so much and it has this like double zipper on the top and it has a pink inside mine's a little bit dirty um, and then I have a long tassel on mine you can get like different link tassels and different accessories to add to them but I decided to go for the black and I went for the long strap and the cool thing about these bags is that they have a bunch of different straps that you can use so you you can use one that goes just like a short handle you can do your crossbody um, from side to side you see mine is like on its side which I really like the way it looks like this I just think it's cool that you can kind of hold it vertically and it's just a little bit different and it's not the same as everybody else's bags that all hang horizontal um, and you still like stuff still stays in it fine like it doesn't fall out and so you can hook it on the side like this or you can hook it on the other side and carry it like this or you can carry it as a clutch and then they also have like a fanny pack strap they have backpack straps they have um, short long medium straps whatever scalloped thick ones and I love this it's like the perfect size and it fits everything in it that I need just like my wallet and my phone and I'm trying to get my wallet out because it's another favorite um, and it's just really great and I really love it and you can get them personalized they make a really great gift they are a little expensive but thankfully they gave me a discount which was really nice um, but I do love them a whole lot so you should definitely check those out that's all I've been carrying and it's just so convenient and easy and I love it and one thing I got to go inside of that which I got on Amazon for like eight bucks is this wallet yes this is a wallet does it look like an old cigarette case Yes, it does, <laughs> but that's kind of what it looks like to me, um, but it is this like rose gold metal um, wallet, and this is one of those that um, actually like is supposed to keep your cards from getting scanned by those like scanners that steal your credit card information. I don't know how much that's true, but it just was small and it was a card holder. So the cool thing about this is that it's an accordion, so I'm holding it at this angle so I can like make sure that my <laughs> numbers aren't going to get stolen, but it's like this really cool accordion file thing so I know exactly where the credit card I want is at all times I can just reach in pull it out and I'm good to go and it's so compact and it fits right in my back pocket it fits in my purse it fits literally anywhere just be careful you don't lose it but it's so nice and so convenient and I really 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 love it okay and then we got three more things really quick and I will be done the first thing is another fashion favorite and that recently is bodysuits yes bodysuits those things that are leotards that we call bodysuits so we can wear them on a normal basis um, this one is just a black tank top one that I use to go under shirts which is really nice because you don't have to worry about it riding up or like showing your stomach or whatever it's great and it is so slimming and so is this bodysuit which is actually the one I wore for Halloween I can't find the one that I wear normally I did wear something under this because it's so low cut um, but I have another one that has the cold shoulder sh cut out of it and they're just so freaking flattering and I don't like to wear tight things ever like I'm a baggy t-shirt kind of girl but those things are so flattering and they look saucy and they look sexy and they're fun so highly recommend bodysuits especially black ones just so slimming so attractive I love it the next thing I have in the fashion department is dirty but that's okay and it is actually a bralette and this is a bralette from urban outfitters it is so soft and silky and awesome i don't know what it's made out of but i'm kind of obsessed with it um, and what i really really like about this is these thick sides on it if you can see the, the side on it is really thick and it comes down a little bit farther um, and that's like an area that I'm a little self-conscious about so it just like sits right over top of that I don't have to worry about that like rolling or looking weird um, and it just really smooths everything out and then it's got a tea back on it so if I can turn it it's got the tea back on the back and just these really cute strappy things really comfortable doesn't feel like you're wearing a bra and I found that I don't nip through it so that's good for me and the last thing I have is just some basics that I really, really have enjoyed over the past couple weeks since I got them. I got them all for $5 at the Urban Outfitters Surplus store um, in um, Los Angeles here. And they're just these basic tees. This one's my favorite. This is the like heather gray one. I just feel like it looks so good with my hair and skin tone. Um, and it's really soft. And this is a little bit different fabric than the rest of them because it is heathered. Um, but oh my goodness, it's just a basic t-shirt. I love it. It's so comfortable. And then I also got the white in it 
um, which is also nice. It's not too thin, so it's not super see-through, which I appreciate because I have a lot of white t-shirts and a lot of them are just like completely see-through and it's really annoying. And then of course I have the black one, which I am wearing today. They fit really well. They're really soft. They're really comfortable. They were super cheap and I really liked them. So that's everything I have to show you in person, but I am going to show with you two of my um, music favorites of recent, don't know, this isn't a monthly favorite, it's just kind of a current favorite. I have been listening to a ton of music lately. I go through phases where like all I want to do is listen to music and I'm in one of those. And the first one I have to share with you is the album Hell's Kitchen Angel by Max, who is Max Schneider, who was a big YouTube star. I don't really know how much he does YouTube now, but he released this album like a year ago. I didn't know about it. I heard Lights Down Low on the radio, which a lot of you have probably heard. Um, and then I looked him up and realized that it was like this Max, like it was this Max from YouTube. I don't know how I missed that. Um, but I have been listening to this album nonstop. It is so much fun. It is like a dance album. Like it makes you want to get up and move and dance and like just be a sexy vixen. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but I absolutely love it. And then my other favorite, um, okay. Well, other favorite is actually to playlist on Apple Music. If you have Apple Music, this applies to you. If you don't, sorry, but you can probably look at it and see. Um, there are two um, playlists, one called Relationship Goals and one called Warm and Fuzzy that are very similar, but they have a little bit different stuff. And it's just like all the best like love song pop music right now. And it's really, really good. And you should check those out as well. And then of course, we have Divide by Ed Sheeran. So everything is great in the music world right now. Let me know what you've been listening to and what you've been liking lately so I can check out some new stuff. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon. In the meantime, my name is Parker. This is Stories in the Dust and I really hope you'll stick around well. Bye guys.